How are we doing, everyone? My name is Mike Warden, and if you're new here, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, if some of you have had an interest in going to my channel and seeing that I have made and produced my very first ever story-driven brick film, well, first of all, I want to say thank you if you decided to watch it, to that video, my very first ever brick film, well, I gotta say, it was a, it was a learning moment for me. I didn't feel, I don't know, I, I, I don't know what the appropriate term is, like, disgusted with it, but I just was, or maybe this, maybe displeased isn't the right word for it, but all I gotta say is, when I got pretty much done with it, and I saw it put together and everything, it was a learning moment for me, and I'm like, holy smokes, I got some work to do. And I got to thinking, I would like to work on my stop motion and, and improve on it. And then I got to thinking, well, doing that would just be boring and I thought you know what I decided that I want to bring you guys along with me and and get better together so that's what I'm gonna do this video here is a starter I'm gonna be showcasing to you what I got what I'm gonna be doing how I'm how I'm going to be doing it so that I can better help you know teach you and that's what I'm gonna do right now. The very first thing that I'm gonna be using when I go through this whole, you know, series of, you know, getting better at stop motion and teaching it is my laptop. My laptop has stop, Mo stop motion studio pro on it and I'm able to connect my laptop to my phone so that I don't have to use the app on my phone and I don't have to, you know, try to find like a, a, a set of headphones and take pictures and, 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 and not to worry about, you know, did I touch the phone as I'm an animating and stuff. Using this laptop helps alleviate that, that kind of problem and concern. And I'm going to show you here in a little bit how I actually connect my phone to the laptop. Now, the app that I use to connect my iPhone to my laptop is if I go here it's the app on the right it's called remote camera it's the green one this app right here allows me to connect my phone remotely to the laptop and it also gives me ability to uh, to adjust certain things like focus and stuff like that there's like another setting there's another way that you can connect like the stop motion you know studio pro app on the iphone to the to the app on the laptop but you don't have that much freedom to adjust but with the with the green app with the remote camera you once you get that connected you can also you know get that working you know adjust your focus your you know change things to manual as i say but yeah that on the right side of the green app remote camera is the app that i use to connect to to my laptop with stop motion Studio Pro open. All right, now I know that this is going to be a little confusing, but this is stop. This is the remote camera app open, and if I just tap these little three lines here with the three little dots, and let's just say I wanted these four things on there, I got them on there. Or if I don't want them at all, well there you go. But when I have the app open. What I do, I'll just move you guys a little bit more closer so you guys can see the laptop, just a little bit more better, is I go down here to the little camera option, and if you see the option that says iPhone, not iPhone 3 camera, none of this. It's the option all the way on the right here that says iPhone, you open it, and then there you have it. You got it open, you're able to adjust, you know, with all these options. Uh, if I can just click on it, you know, these options here, you know, you know, you have a slew of options, but if you decided to go with, 
let's see, if you could decide to go here and say, let me see what happens right now as I'm recording. What would happen if I hit this? Post-production mic here, real quickly, when I was doing the whole screen recording thing and I chose that option, uh, it actually like completely muted me and like completely like somehow like canceled my screen recording on my phone. So don't do that. Just use a green app and it would just work just fine. Now, if you are someone that, you know, is able to, you know, get the setup that I have, like with the laptop and the iPhone and stuff, and you, you know, you realize you can get that app and whatnot, I will tell you, yes, you can connect wirelessly between the iPhone and the laptop, but I've had some more weird issues with that than I did if I actually had it connected. If w once I had my phone and the laptop connected with everything, it works f pretty much flawlessly with no issues, no problems, no lagging, no glitching, no nothing. I've had issues where I go to take a picture of, of, of movement or something and you just see this white bar going across just loading up the image for some odd reason when it's just a picture and I don't know why. And uh, yeah, so if anything, if you can use one of these to connect, do it. I 100% I recommend it because it's quicker, it's snappier and it just works. The next thing that I'm gonna use as more for like a frame of reference or yeah, we'll just call it that, a frame of reference, is this book here. Now, as you can see, it says, for classical computer games, stop motion, inter and internet animators. Obviously, the key word for us is stop motion. Now, I thought, I actually went through this book, you know, you know, looked at some stuff, and I thought, oh, it'd be cool to, to do this or that or whatever. But as I got, as I was going through the book more and read some of the stuff, I started to realize that more more the majority of the book is meant for just the, like the drawing aspect of this the very few the very few yeah the very first few set of pages were about like why Richard Williams I think that you wrote the book you know became a a drawing animator and what inspired him and yada 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 and his story and then and then the next chapter where it started where it started actually teaching stuff it was teaching on like timing and spacing and there's some interesting words that i saw i thought it'd be cool to share with you guys once we get going and this is the book like i said i'm going to use it as a frame of reference if there's something that like i thought like oh this would be useful i'm going to mention it as i'm going along in the series so yeah, so this book is more of a frame of reference in this whole thing. The next thing that I'm going to be using here, obviously, if you've been doing stop motion for a while and you decided to tune into this video, first of all, I say thank you. Secondly, I cannot emphasize enough. Use sticky tack. This here is Gorilla Putty or Gorilla Tack. It's the brand is Gorilla. I cannot emphasize enough how useful as I was kind of like doing tiny little things with this stuff how useful this stuff helps out how it 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 you know it allows it I don't know how do you say it, it prevents your your minifigures when you're animating them from falling over it, it this stuff is amazing and I thought to myself to do stop motion without sticky tack is like a magician that's trying to do a magic trick without sleight of hand it's just not going to work. And I gotta say, use this stuff. I use Gorilla Glue, I mean not Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Tack, or as they call it, Mounting Putty, and it worked pretty and it works pretty good. I know there's a another uh, stop motion animator on here. His name is Real Force. I know he's got a video on like he's got like different kinds of sticky tack, like you know, the super cheap kind. Uh, to the most expensive kind and he put them through like different trials and different tests you know what would happen if I blow dried it or if it got too dry you know would it be still useful or something like that he's got a cool video I might put a picture of it for you guys to go check out but yeah make sure to use this stuff as we're going along and also I will also make sure to show you guys when it, com when it comes time to to where it's good to place a sticky tack and how to get it out 
in, in weird tight areas if if it if you ever have an issue like that I'll show you how to take that out but yeah use sticky tack now this stuff here is what they call gaffer tape and it is well it's gaffer tape and basically the finish on it's nice it's the the finish is not too glossy or anything like that I will admit to you I did get I don't know why silly me was thinking about getting it but I got Gorilla Tape and T-Rex Tape, which I gotta be honest with you, that stuff is plenty strong for what we're for what we're going to be doing with this. This stuff works and it's strong enough, trust me. The reason why this stuff is pretty much recommended, I think for the most part, is because when you go to pull this stuff off the roll, it you can kind of like tear it off pretty easy. Like watch, watch this, ready? Pull some stuff out. And you can actually tear it off pretty easily without having to use the knife. You could use the knife if you wanted to, but overall this, this stuff is pretty good. Plus it's not as bright and glossy and whatnot. But this tape, uh, painter's tape, T-Rex, Gorilla tape, you know, of the, of the duct type kind of tape are plenty strong, trust me. And this stuff would work just fine. This stuff is just a little bit more expensive. And I think I got this in like a 30 meter or 30 foot roller or something like that. I, I don't know. But if you look it up, you'll, you'll see it. It's made by, as the name is called, gafferpower.com. So, yeah, gaffer state. This here is my state-of-the-art phone holder. This is what I use for when I did my, my stop motion project with uh, Darth Vader and Carnage. It's... Really, it's not too elaborative. I've seen some videos of how people build their, I you know, how, and how they build their phone holders, and you know they get super you know into it, and they use certain pieces for certain reasons. Guys, not for nothing, but literally three bricks tall, front and back, two studs apart, with some with some flat tile pieces to help uh, level the phone some more. That's all it really is. And plus, the three bricks high is also not too high to where, say, your camera's over here. If you know, especially if you're using an iPhone, it's not going to cover the iPhone. Plus, my camera kind of sits here when it's more on the bottom. But say, say you want your camera lens over here, it'll be more than plenty fine to be over here as it's being sat and held. So, yeah, my state of the art uh, phone holder. Now, this here. As you should know already, I shouldn't have to say much, but this is what I'm going to be using. A uh, great plate, and if you don't have a great plate and you got one of these, or you got the green or the blue or whatever, you know, you sitting around and they don't have everything on it, well, you know what? These will work just fine. You know, whatever suits your fancy. There's really not much to say about this, really. Okay, so d did I call this thing my state-of-the-art phone holder for when I do stop motion? Okay. I'll admit, I lied. It's also my state-of-the-art minifigure holder to showcase we also need minifigures. Minifigures that I'm going to be using as I'm going to be teaching the stop-motion stuff as we go along and as we improve together. Now, if some of you are kind of seeing, like, this stuff, you know, my Jaws build, and you're getting distracted, well, pay, pay no attention to this. Probably by the time that these videos come out, this is probably going to be done. So, yeah, don't, don't. This is, this is nothing important right now, okay? For, for, forget that for now, okay? Jeez. Now, with all that being shown and said, I'm going to end it here. And when you're ready, click on the next video for the, for the next lesson in stop motion animation. But if you are for surely done watching videos, period, and you want to end it here, well, trust me, I'm very understanding. And if you decided to make it to the very end of this video, yet again, thank you very much. And also, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out and everything else. And with that, I'm out of here. So, see ya!